In honor of Black History Month, Whitley Phipps explains the origin of Amazing Grace and leads an audience full of men singing this honored hymn as presented during the 1995 Promise Keepers Conference at RFK Stadium in Washington, D.C. I listened to you singing and I thought about one of the most incredible revelations I've ever had. Did you know that God himself sings? I'm a little biased. I think he's a bass myself. <laughs> but in Christ, there is no east or west. In Christ, there is no black or white. I want to demonstrate to you one of the most incredible discoveries of my life that I think can bring this nation together. But did you know that all Negro spirituals were written on the black notes of the piano? And you can play any Negro spiritual, just only play those black notes on the piano. But I'm gonna play you the most famous white spiritual built just on the black keys, which in early America, they used to call this the pentatonic scale, they used to call it the slave scale. I'm gonna play the most famous white spiritual built on the slave scale, watch. Just black notes. tonight know who wrote that song? That's right, a man by the name of John Newton. But do you know what John Newton did before he became a Christian? He was the captain of a slave ship. Heard this melody coming up out of the belly of a ship and wrote a poem called Amazing Grace and set his poem to a slave melody. But when he first heard it, it probably sounded something more like this. Mmm. -hmm. 
Hallelujah. Now I want you to sing it with me. I want you to sing it with me, but I want you to sing it like you understand a little better where it came from. Come on. Amen. something strangely haunting about that melody. It's because it was born out of suffering and it still speaks to the slave in us for without Christ we are all slaves. And just 10 blocks from here is the Library of Congress. And I went and I looked up that song, Amazing Grace. And you know what it said? It said, words, John Newton, melody unknown, unknown. And I believe God wanted that song written so that we'd always know that whether black or white, rich or poor, in his eyes, we are all connected. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're connected. And we're connected by grace. God's amazing grace. So together, black and white, we can do great things for God. If you would like additional information on how you can participate in a PK event this year and to see the uninterrupted version of this segment, please visit our website. You will also find resources that can change the lives of men in your neighborhood.